you. Sorry. If you could reintroduce yourself. My name is Dustin Frazier Lowry. I am here on behalf of my body and soul collective and the over a thousand members of which they represent. <coughs> and the entire medical cannabis community as a whole. I have lived in Fresno my entire life. All I know is Fresno. This is my home. My dad has been driving bus here in Fresno for over 30 years. <coughs> my mom has lived here in Fresno her entire life, and this is my home. And now we have <coughs> I, medical cannabis is without a doubt a necessity here in Fresno, California, and it's just as important throughout the entire state of California. The County Board of Supervisors' ignorance to the benefits of medicinal cannabis is downright appalling. The people of this great state of California in 1996 passed the Compassionate Use Act following their use, allowing for the use of medicinal cannabis. Then in 2003 passed Senate Bill 420, which was, which was approved, which was clarified a lot of the discrepancies within the Compassionate Use Act and also set up a state registry for medicinal cannabis consumers and also allowed for collectives and co-ops to register for medicinal cannabis consumers. I'm sorry. The Fresno County Board of Supervisors' ignorance to state law passed through the initiative process by the people disgusts and saddens me dearly. So simply because you haven't educated yourselves on cannabis and its many amazing medicinal qualities. You choose to ignore state law passed by the people. What kind of democracy is that, I ask you? When local governments can simply say, we do not agree with what state law says, so therefore we will ignore the rights of the people. I am not a criminal. I am a hard-working part of Fresno's community, and I stand here before you today asking that all medicinal cannabis consumers get treated equal and fair. This is a state law passed by the people of California, so please consider the fact that you are ignoring the will of the people, and I will end with this question. The citizens of Fresno have safe access right now. Why would you force every single one of those patients back on the street and black market to find their medication? Thank you.